What's up everyone? Adam Dicker, Progress Realty Partners. Back for another round of Thirsty Thursday. For those of you that don't know what this is, we go around trying locally crafted New Jersey beers. And while we do that, you guys have a little bit of real estate knowledge. You guys are thirsty for real estate knowledge, and I love beer. We're like chocolate and strawberries. This week, we're gonna be talking about one of the biggest advantages of owning real estate, and that's appreciation. And while we do that, we have a little friend here from Wet Ticket Brewing, fully juiced IPA up in Rawway, New Jersey. And before we get started, we're gonna warm ourselves up on this freezing winter day with the initial taste test. It's a little fruity. So what is depreciation? Depreciation is the process of deducting the cost of buying investment real estate. It's extremely crucial to remember that land cannot be depreciated. Depreciation is an expense that actually gets deducted from your net operating income, or NOI, as an expense against the building. An example of this, if you buy a building for a million dollars and the land is valued at 200,000, you have $800,000 that is depreciable. For residential, the depreciation period is 27 and a half years, and for commercial, it's 39. So what does this mean? In our example, for residential, you would take the $800,000 and divide it by 27 and a half years, or for commercial, divide it by 39 years. For the residential example, the value comes out to about $29,000. So if your property has an NOI of about $100,000, you then take that $29,000 depreciation expense and subtract it. This means that your taxable income is now 79,000 instead of about 100,000. This can equate to major tax savings. The IRS is no dummy though. The kicker is that when the property is sold, our friends over at the IRS take that depreciation back in something called depreciation recapture. So if that property that was initially bought for a million dollars is then sold for 1.2 million five years down the road, not only are you being taxed on that $200,000 gain, but all the depreciation that you've been writing off is now considered taxable. And since our depreciation expense in this example was about $29,000 a year, over five years, you're looking at about $145,000, which now equates to a total capital gain of $345,000. However, all the taxes on the sale of a commercial property can be deferred in something called the 1031 exchange. But that's a video for another time. Again, back to our little friend here, the final taste test. On a scale of one to 10, this gets a 9.1. This again, this is the wet ticket brewing. We're up in Rawway, New Jersey, fully juiced. I'm Adam Dickert. We're Progress Realty Partners. Catch you guys next week with a new beer and new information.